here comes a little buddy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Okay, it's Scott back here for what is really happening in Mexico.com and uh, we were so interested in Liz and Bowen's story that we decided to search out the the grandmother of yes. Bowen and the mother-in-law of Liz Yes. Uh, down here as well. Yes. And uh, yeah, and so basically, obviously, uh, your son's family are, are uh, out there yes. doing it, getting yes. out there. Yes. They seem to be having a wonderful time down here. Yes. You get that feeling? Oh, yes. and. They've had three months of it, and they'd still want three more months, you know. I, I was thinking, oh, by three months, they'd be thinking it's time to go home, but none of that. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> <laughs> so, so before they came down, did you have some misgivings about uh, your grandkids and everyone going down to Mexico? I did, and it was so bad that I would read articles in the paper about the threats and don't go near the border and all that kind of thing and I would send them every article that I found yeah. just saying I know you know this but I want you to be very careful absolutely yeah but you know what where I'm from there's just been 16 shootings yeah so yeah it doesn't yeah it doesn't matter you know you're safe they're safe here obviously and they're having just a wonderful wonderful time yeah, and so. you came down to make sure <laughs> a little bit. No, right? <laughs> I came down because what a what an awesome opportunity yeah. that they're here, that we can come down and be able to spend each day with them for a couple of weeks. Because I won't otherwise I wouldn't see them for six, six months. Six months. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You just missed them probably. Yeah. Oh, terribly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just you know to be able to spend the day here and watch the kids make sand animals and swim, and they're just having. A wonderful time, and what is really interesting is how much Spanish the boys actually have learned in this period of time. Wow. And uh, how accepting they are. Uh, this is a very different environment, but uh, everybody treats them so well and so on. It's just, it's home away from home. Yeah, it's kind of like even though they only have to go to one hour of uh, school a day, it's like, their whole, it's like their whole life is school, though. You I know. know. They're learning so much. Well, stuff and they I'm, would never learn at home. But I'm not sure they're appreciating that their father is their teacher. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a whole different story. Exactly. Isn't it? So, well, anyways, thank you so much for well, talking to us. Thank you. You thank seem you. to be having a good time down here. Oh, and, yes. I'll be heartbroken when it's time to go home. Yeah. This, Mexico is a wonderful, wonderful place to come. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank talking you. to us. And uh, I just have the best time ever. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Scott signing out for What is Really Happening in Mexico.com with Sharon from Calgary. Sorry, Abbotsford. Yes. Abbotsford. <laughs>